Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we're gonna see some uh, Proxmox command line tools. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all why we need these command line tools okay so actually sometimes when you are doing some operation using the GUI of Proxmox as you can see here the operation may fail okay so in this case you must actually use the command line tool provided by Proxmox in order to solve the situation okay so in this video I'm going to show you some basic commands that you can use in order to tackle all the different problems that you have in your Proxmox node, okay? So first of all, how to access the shell or the command line tools. So it's pretty simple, all you have to do is to click on your node. So here for example I name it PVE for Proxmox Virtual Environment. And here you go to the shell as you can see. And you get this shell. So here you can enter the commands, okay? Or there is another solution. You can use whatever actually SSH client that you have and you can access your Proxmox server from this actually SSH uh, client, like for example, Putty, okay? So let's go. I'm using uh, uh, commander as a SSH tool here or client and I'm going to SSH to my Proxmox server using the root uh, username okay so let's go I have to provide here the password here we go so I am in okay so the first command that I'm going to show you it's pretty simple this command actually will just show you the system version so it's pretty intuitive it's pve for proxmox virtual environment then version okay so as you can see here i'm using pve manager version 8.0.3 okay and the kernel that i am running is 5.15.102 okay so it's always good to have some search uh, information first before tackling with your system okay you can also show the status of your storage file using the command pve sm okay then uh, status here we go so this command will give you all the storage actually storage volume that you have so me for example here i have two storage volume one named storage and one named local so here you have the status which is active so they are both active here you have the total actually size of uh, each storage volume the capacity that is used and the availability so as you can see here the available percent in percentages okay so it's always also good to take a look at your storage to see if uh, it's full or not okay so sometimes you must have some extra space okay so next if you want for example to change the IP address of your uh, Proxmox server so remember Proxmox is based on Debian so all the commands you will see here are are like uh, Linux commands okay so for example if you want to change the IP address it's pretty simple you can use the editor like nano and open the file etc hosts slash hosts here we go so here you can see that I have two IP addresses I have the local one so this one you must keep it and never change it and here in the second line you have the IP address of your Proxmox server so here I'm using that 100, that 201. So you can change the IP address if you want here, okay? So as I told you, it's like uh, in a Linux system. So inside this uh, etc.hosts file, you will find the host name and also the IP address associated with it, okay? So let's get rid of that. 
you can also check uh, the DNS servers that my Proxmox is using and in this case I will open the file etc resolve slash resolve dot conf here we go so here the, the only name server that I'm using is the Google DNS server which is 8.8.8.8 so if you want also to change the DNS servers that is using uh, by Proxmox you can change it here okay but I guess all these commands it's pretty known for any Linux user okay so now let's go to the main thing which how we can manage actually your virtual machines so here as you can see I have uh, a pretty uh, some uh, virtual machines so in this video I will just tackle the virtual machines not the containers because they are mostly used okay but also there are some commands that you can use for containers but let's just focus on virtual machines okay so the first command that I come to show you is how to list all your virtual machines so for that we use the command qm so actually the q here uh, actually means q e m u and m is for manager okay so we tap qm list so this command will list all the virtual machine that we have okay so here you have the, in the first column you have the id of each virtual machine okay the name of it in the second column and the status how much memory it's allocated for each virtual machine and also the boot disk associated with it okay so this is a global view for the virtual machine that you have so remember this command will show you only the virtual machine not the containers okay so if you want to see the status of a particular virtual machine you can also do that uh, for example you can type the command so let me get rid of this one qm okay but in this case we will uh, use the option status then we provide the id of the virtual machine so for example here you can see that i have a windows 7 virtual machine that is actually uh, shut down so let's see its status so here i have to provide its id which is 101 okay here we go so you can see the status of it is stopped okay another thing if you want to start it we use the same qm command but this in this case we use the keyword start or the option start so let's try to start for example this windows 7 machine here we go so now the windows 7 machine is starting so we can uh, wait a little bit because it's a window operating system and here we go you can see here the green uh, triangle which means this machine is actually starting okay so let's say its status now so we'll use the previous command and now in uh, contrary to the previous uh, status which was stopped now the status is actually running okay we can also force it to stop to stop so if you want so as i told you sometimes when you are doing this kind of uh, actions using the gui they may fail so for example it happened to me a lot so i have actually to use the command line tool in order to stop a virtual machine so let's force for example this windows 7 to stop so for that we use the same command but instead of start we use the option shut down shut down and we'll provide here the id which is uh, 101 okay then a couple of uh, options for example here force stop one then uh, time out which also one so this command you can use it 
whenever you have problem to shut down a machine using the GUI you can uh, actually use it in the command line to shut down your virtual machine so let's execute it so here as you can see it has sent a signal terminal to our virtual machine in order to stop it and here we go as you can see here in the GUI it has actually stopped or shut down so let's verify that using the command status here we go so you can see it stopped okay and one final command if you want to destroy completely a machine you can use another command but this command I will just show you here the syntax I will not execute it because I want to keep my Windows 7 machine so let's say that you want to get rid of this Windows 7 machine you want you, you don't want it anymore you can use the QM destroy command okay and with a couple of options so first of all you have to provide its ID which in this case 101 okay then a couple of uh, options destroy and reference it and reference it desks okay then purge so this is the command that you can execute whenever you want to get rid of all the content of actually uh, Windows uh, virtual machine itself and all its disks okay so it's also useful to use this command if you want to actually uh, destroy a virtual machine okay but as I told you me I'm not going to execute it it was just a reference here okay and finally I will give you a hint here you can use QM help which will give you all these commands and a lot of also other commands so you can see here you have a bunch of commands that you can execute in order to manage your virtual machines okay so you can use it for creating a virtual machine you can use it for actually this QM command for creating a virtual machine migrating a virtual machine so there is a lot of command that you can use so in this video I wanted just to show you the basic one that you can use in everyday uh, operations okay but of course if you want to go deeper and deeper you can use QM help and see all the command that you can use okay so that was just a quick video to show you this uh, Proxmox command line tools that you can use in order to tackle any problem that you have to face whenever you are using the GUI of Proxmox okay so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye